know that you're excited about uh, the church reopening for in-person worship this Sunday, but we have a few things to tell you about how worship will be different uh, this Sunday when you come. One of the first things that you'll notice when you come to church on Sunday morning are the sanitizing stations. Uh, we want you to stop before you enter worship and make sure that you sanitize your hands. If you're looking for a mask, we have one available for you. It is not required or mandatory for you to wear a mask, but we do encourage it. One of the other things that you'll notice is that doors are open. We're asking that you not open any doors, that the doors will already be open for you. This will eliminate the amount of touch uh, factors that we have involved in the process of worship. One of the first things that you'll notice when you enter into the sanctuary is that the offering plates are already out. We're asking that you go ahead and place your gift or offering into the plates. One will be uh, positioned here and then there will be another at the front of the sanctuary. This helps eliminate the many touch factors that are included in passing the offering plate from person to person. So one of the biggest questions that you're going to have when you come into the sanctuary is, where do I sit? Well, we've already answered that question for you. Uh, in order to meet social distancing guidelines, we've marked each pew with either green tape or no tape. So, if you come to the 9 o'clock worship service, we're asking that you sit in the pews that have the green tape. If you're coming to the 11 o'clock service, we're asking that you sit in the pews with no tape. We're also asking that you sit in, in groups with your household. We're trying to obey uh, social distancing guidelines as much as we possibly can. So what will worship look like? Well, it's going to be a blended worship service. It's going to be much like what you watch online. Uh, it will be a mix of traditional and contemporary music. Research has shown that the choir style uh, helps spread COVID-19. So we're going to do as much as we can to limit that spread. So our music will be a mix of traditional hymns and contemporary music. So a few people have asked if we'll be having a children's sermon or children's church. And unfortunately, we've had to make the decision to not have children's church. We'll still be having our children's sermon, except it will be virtually. Um, a video will be screened um, on the screen back there, or if you're watching online, it'll just come on your screen like normally. So, how are we making the space safe for you to come and worship? Well, we are trying to follow social distancing guidelines. Remember, if you're coming to the 9 o'clock service, you're sitting in the green pews and sitting with your household members. And if you're coming to the 11 o'clock service, you're going to be sitting in the pews without tape. We also are encouraging everybody that before they enter into the sanctuary, that they use hand sanitizer. You are encouraged to wear a mask, but it's not a requirement. It is your personal choice. During and between services, you'll see that we wipe down the pews that uh, people sit in so that there is no sort of cross-contamination. Then also, I'm excited to tell you a little bit about what's about to happen above your heads. If you'll look right up there, that big giant air disperser that's happening right there, everybody has asked, well, what do we do about the air conditioning? Well, your church trustees have, in have installed I wave air purifier system into our air conditioning system. So the air that you breathe will be purified through the air conditioning system. Those are just some of the ways that we're helping to improve your worship service and making sure that it is safe for you to be inside. Everybody's asking about bathrooms. Well, the bathrooms will be open. But we do ask that you make sure that you wash your hands and even use hand sanitizer when you leave that space. One of the other additions that we've made throughout the building is these hand sanitizer stations. You'll notice them on the wall. They're full of hand sanitizer and all you have to do is swipe your hand under it, rub it together, and you have a great sanitized hand. 
So many of you have been asking about Sunday School. Yep, we're allowing in-person Sunday School to resume, but we are asking that every Sunday School class maintain their social distance and use caution. We're also asking that they allow for a technology component so that they can still keep connected with those people who are at home. One of the things that we have added to every Sunday School class is a bottle of hand sanitizer. And we do encourage that everybody use the hand sanitizer before or after the class. So we have gotten many questions about the nursery and if we'll be having it and how it will be operating. We have made the decision to offer nursery for children ages three and under. We will be implementing many social distancing and COVID prevention measures, including temperature checks, when um, each child arrives to the nursery, um, sanitizing between each services, and limiting the number of adults in the nursery with the children. We just ask for your patience and support as we continue to navigate uncharted waters um, and figure out what is best for our children in our church. We know that you're excited about returning to worship on Sunday, but we're still asking that you maintain your social distancing. Please refrain from hugging, handshaking, and all that's included in that. Give somebody a, a air high five or a thumbs up. If you really We are very excited that Sunday we will be back together, worshiping in person together. But we do ask that if you feel sick or show any symptoms, that you do stay home and take advantage of our online worship service, which will be at 11 o'clock on Sundays. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you Sunday.